Philistines. Now when the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went out against them. Then the Philistines went and made a raid in the valley of Rapha. And David inquired of God. Somebody need to make a note that David inquired of God. Saying that, shall I go up to the Philistines, against the Philistines? Will you deliver them into my hand? And the Lord said to him, go up, for I will deliver them into your hands. Verse 11. So when he went up to Baal-perazim, and David defeated them there, then David said, God has broken through my enemies by the hand and like the breakthrough of water. And therefore I shall call the name of the place Baal-perazim. Father God, we thank you for the reading of your word tonight. We're asking, Holy Spirit, that you move up and down the aisles, touch every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. We thank you in advance for what you're going to do and say. And we said, amen. 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 You be seated in his presence. Thank you, Lord God. While you're taking your seats tonight, there is a word in the house as well as a message. If you're taking any notes, the word for tonight is breakthrough. Breakthrough. I don't know about you, but that right there, to get a shout right there, breakthrough. Hallelujah, breakthrough. Are you writing it down to tell your neighbor, breakthrough? Breakthrough. Tell your neighbor outside, breakthrough. 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 Come on, here. Breakthrough. Yeah, Lord. As the word of the Lord God has given us tonight, as we're studying the word breakthrough, understand, people of God, that breakthrough is a military word, it's a warfare word. So if you're telling the Lord God that you're in need of a breakthrough, you must be going through some type of warfare. Yeah. Because if only people who are going through something need a breakthrough. Am I right about it? Amen. 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 So tonight as we're going to bring forth this word, we're asking the Holy Spirit to reveal to us that he is the Lord of a breakthrough. Is Come that right? Yeah. He is the Lord of a breakthrough yes. in the name of Jesus. So as I look at the word, breakthrough is defined as, I love to define a word. Breakthrough means warfare. It means an, a, an act against moving beyond obstacles and barriers. My Lord, that right there should get a shout right there. It, it's a warfare word, that's one. The second part of that, it is an act or an offense moving through or beyond obstacles and advances. And that's where the Lord God is leading us today. Because letting us know that in regardless of what we may be experiencing, you know, regardless of what the enemy may be trying, God is saying that he's the Lord of the breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. That means that whatever has been blocking you, I, I may not have anybody up in here, but I'm going to preach to myself. Okay? Because if there's something that stops you from not being where you need to be, or not able to advance the way you need to be, come on, come the Lord God is saying that that means you are in need of a breakthrough. Come on. See, breakthrough comes in many different ways. People right. say desire financial breakthroughs. Right. Right? They desire breakthrough in their health. Right. Breakthroughs in the different there's also such a thing as a spiritual breakthrough. Come on. Yeah. That means when you haven't heard from God in a while. Hello. Yeah. Come, Come on, on now. Yeah. You're crying out and you act like Lord God, are you there? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, I'm not the only one that's ever been in that place. So that we need a spiritual breakthrough yeah. where we pray and we feel like our prayers are hitting a glass ceiling and they come up and come straight down. When you're delivered, you can talk about it, but I want you to know because the night is the Lord of the Lord of the breakthrough, the Lord God is saying that tonight we're gonna break through those barriers. Yes, yes. Break through the obstacle. Whatever's been holding you back and holding you up. I don't know about I'm gonna receive all of that. Yes. 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 Whatever that means. Thing. Come on. We believe in the Lord God for a breakthrough. Now see, I thought it was interesting. As the Lord God gave me the text tonight, and he's saying that we're reading from 1 Chronicles, but those of you who like to study the word, it's also in 2 Samuel chapter number 5, verse 20. It reads identical. But I want you to understand that whenever we're reading this passage, David has some enemies. Mm. My Lord. That's nobody in the church. Everybody was right good with you. Okay. Uh, they have some individuals that just don't sit well with you or you don't sit well with them. Come on. And we call that a foe. Amen. We call that a, an obstacle. We call that something again. Well, the Philistines were advancing and they were coming up against David. You see, David was just recently given a new position. 
Mm. Lord have mercy. Don't the devil start messing when you get a new position? Yes. yes. Now, it don't matter which if you're just watching over one person, but let you get some authority. Let you get in a place where you got to make a decision. The devil don't like advances in the kingdom of God. Nope. I want you to know that he's already a defeated That's person. right.
So if, if you're asking the Lord God to put you in a position and he has, get ready for the fire. Get ready. My mom will get ready for you. Like, I didn't ask. Well, if you didn't ask for your mother, well, stay on to the back then. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ain't that not right? You're like, you're like, well, I didn't ask for a little, but then you should stay back there. Because the moment you step a little bit further, the enemy's like, no, what you want up here? Mm. Is that not right? Yeah. And well, no, well, no, well, I know that's no room for, mm -mm. you're going to have to fight. Right. And I believe that Lord right. God is saying that he's the Lord of the breakthrough. Yeah. You see, David began to, he began to advance. And as he advanced, all of a sudden he had additional people coming up against him. And surely enough, in the valley, I'm saying that because all of us, we get in that valley. But David did something, and I told you to make a note of that. It, this is, the title of the message is Breakthrough, the Lord of the Breakthrough. My Lord, understand, it's the Lord of the Breakthrough. David did something that we need to learn. If we're going to have breakthrough, you're going to have to turn your face to the Lord. And, and pray. Come on. Yes. You're like, wait a minute, I thought it was going to be some big formula. No. <laughs> it may seem big if you don't pray. <laughs> but if you pray, you have no trouble. Nope. Because if you know how to get a hold of <laughs> Jeremiah 33 and 3, call yes. to me and I will answer thee and show you great yes, and mighty things you know not. My God, he's just a phone call away. He's just a prayer away. I'm saying that David did something that it seems basic and simple, but you believe it or not, a lot of people are not praying. Hello. Oh, you may be doing, you may got a little big shot on your, on your shoulder, but you ain't doing much prayer. Because there's a big difference. Because it's nothing wrong with the shout, but you got to pray to go with that shout. See, the Bible said the anointing destroys Come on, come on, come on. You got all that, but if there's no anointing to destroy, you'll know, be walking around the same pool. Come on, Pastor. No, no, no. You need a shout that's going to break that. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. You're talking about the Lord of the break. Mm -hmm. You see, David did something. There's another there. There, there it is. David inquired of God. Shall I go up against the Philistines? When was the last time you had that prayer? Lord God, should I? Yeah. Wow. Some of us just yesterday. <laughs> Is that not right? Lord, do I? Should I go? Should I not go? But see, and my individual, well, that's not prayer. That is prayer. You see, you can see the enemy has you full. Yeah. The enemy has all the God said over. The enemy has you. It's not about the big flowery words you say. Hello? As long as you talk to them. Daddy. Yeah. You may not be able to listen to the dials and, and the, the, all that together. And you may not be able to roll your arms like somebody. But as long as you can call on his name. Yeah. That's why I call on the name of Jesus. I'm not talking about Muhammad or Buddha. And surely enough, the Lord Scripture said that David inquired of the Lord. He inquired. He went to the Lord God with a basic prayer. Should I? Should I? Be dead? Shall I go? You're like, that don't suck. That is prayer, people of God. Somebody needs to get a clue right there. The Lord God is speaking to you. Before you take a step and do what you think you need to do, you better check with the Father. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And make sure he orchestrates you. Yes. Hey. Wow. The scripture hey. says, orchestrate my footsteps in the word, oh Lord God. Yeah. Now, now, don't send me. I don't want to. You know what? Here's my prayer, Lord. I don't want to go if you're not going. Yes. Yeah. If you're going to stay, then why well, well, I'm not going. Yeah. <laughs> if you going to stay, well, I'm not going to stay too. So my prayer is, Lord God, orchestrate, God, my step. And that's why I'm saying that, people of God, whenever you're wanting breakthrough, how you get your breakthrough, the formula of getting the Lord of the breakthrough is that you're going to have to find you some time to break away and get with God. And I mean, inquire, Lord God, what should I do? You know, cut off the cell phone. Turn, turn get off of the, the Instagram and the Rick Rack and the Linky, whatever that is, and shut up. Uh -huh. 
didn't do. Amen. The Lord created the real FaceTime. He said, if you get in my face, I'll get in yours. <laughs>
that whenever my dad's a fisherman, amen, he's a fisherman, just a sport that he loves to do. And so in some area, I'm a fisherman's daughter, amen. amen. Didn't know I'd be doing it spiritually as well as physically. Come on here. And it was like, you like the fish? Yes, I love to sit out on the water yeah, and Lord. just sit out there and catch nothing for hours. Yeah. <laughs> Don't go out there on me and my hat, my bucket, my towel, my pliers. I'm good. Watching that water getting all sun. Oh Don't bother me not one bit. But I'm here to tell you, when I went fishing one time, and, and, you know, I went fishing with my dad when I was younger. And surely enough, my dad, he, he wears all the equipment. You know, he's the, you know, you know, one like you see on the Bass Pro, you know, with the wafers and all, you know what I'm talking about, the whole nine, all the tools, yeah, everything. Wow. Like anything, a whale could come out of the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything, everything was all together. And surely enough, my dad was fishing, and he made through his line out, and my dad slipped. And he slipped, and sure, and me, I'm about yay tall. I can't do nothing. My dad's six to one. I'm just a little, and I was small. My dad slipped, and the only thing I, I just did my hand, and he grabbed my hand, and when he grabbed my hand, he, he was able to come through. Wow. And the Lord God allowed me to share that because that's just how wow. a breakthrough is. Yeah. It don't, don't matter how big the help is, yeah. as long as God can come on. Yeah, I do. 